in a middle school full of bullies, insane teachers, and gross school lunches. Nick Healy, that's me. And my two best friends try to do the impossible. Create a guide that will help you survive school. Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Your results may vary. It's your first day of high school. You probably either still have braces, some extra baby weight, the voice of a fifth grader, or just some preteen angst. But don't worry, it gets better. Embrace your freshman flaws and put yourself out there. Hey! Remember, your schoolwork is the most important part, but if you want to survive the next four years of high school, you better get to making friends. Here to talk about making friends their freshman year is none other than my little sister, Natalie. Hey! So, Natalie, how did you manage making friends? Well, it was hard at first, but once I put myself out there, hey! It was really easy. Now that you're no longer a freshman and the babies of the school, let's move on to sophomore year. <laughs> so now as you're a sophomore, it's your job to look at, out for the incoming freshmen. You know, show them around and uh, save them from Hey, jerk! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Here you go. So, Mr. Geckel, primarily teaching sophomores, what piece of advice would you give to uh, incoming sophomores today? I would tell them that they should uh, take responsibility for their own education and to uh, make sure they always have their ID on them. You did it! You're halfway through high school, and now on to junior year. Junior year is the most important year of high school because you have to start preparing for college, which especially means studying for the SATs. The SAT is not to be taken lightly. It's a big deal and you can decide, very well decide what college you're going to next year. So don't forget to study up and pay attention to your SAT prep classes. Hi, today we're here with Mr. Jockmans, uh, one of Towson's famed teachers, and uh, so Mr. Jockmans, I just want to know you've seen many juniors come through these halls. I would just want to say, what kind of advice would you give to some sophomores coming into their junior year? Realize it's going to suck, and to be hardcore, but you can make it easier for yourself. Don't always keep talking about your scores, your SATs, don't freak out about that stuff. Realize that you're on this together, and then find some friends you can be with, and they can share successes, share your failures with. Make it work. Wow, Thank you. great advice. Thanks, Mr. Jockmans. So now that you're done with the SATs, we can move on to the year you've all been waiting for, senior year. Senior year is all about enjoying yourself, making some memories, doing something a little crazy, and maybe getting yourself into some shenanigans, like me. Ethan, what advice would you give to any seniors? I would say don't forget your parking pass or you'll be getting kicked out like me. Time for so many things to look forward to. You got senior week, graduation, senior prom, senior celebration. It's all just a blast. To conclude our program today, we're going to go and summarize some of the do's and don'ts of high school. Do make friends and be social. Put yourself out there. Just go for it, kiddo. Be a role model for the younger students and take responsibility for your education. Pay attention in class at all costs and take the SAT seriously, but not too seriously to where you're going to stress yourself out. Don't give up and don't try to do everything on your own. There are plenty of teachers and counselors that will help with whatever you are struggling with and will help you to manage your resources. Most importantly, try to make some good memories and have some fun. That's what high school is all about. Your studies are super important, but the fun you have in high school is what you'll remember in the next 30 to 40 years. You did it. You graduated high school. And for those who are just about to start, just follow these tips and you'll be on the right track in no time. Golly.